In this video, we will cover top Windows Server interview questions and answers you might get as part of the hiring process. A lot of times, you might be asked a question during the interview process on how Windows Server is used by the organizations. Windows Server can play different roles based on the organizational needs. It can be a web server using IIS, Internet Information Server Technology from Microsoft. It can help companies deploy Windows on the workstations using Windows deployment services. It can play a role of Active Directory Domain Controller, be a DHCP server, DNS server, provide virtualization using Hyper-V technology. It can be a print and document service, as well as the file server. There are multiple ways to see all available roles Windows Server can play right inside Windows Server. Right now, I'm inside Server Manager, and I can see available roles by navigating to Manage, Add Roles and Features. I go through the wizard, and as one of the steps in the wizard, Windows Server allows me to see the full list of roles available. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Vadim Mikhalenka, and I have MBA and Master's degree in Computer Science. Most of my career, I worked as a consultant, helping companies implement solutions. I learned a lot of technologies throughout my career, but more importantly, I developed a methodology how to learn new skills, which I would like to share with you as part of my videos. I also work as an educator in a community college, helping people to learn technology and find jobs. I started online training for everyone to share the knowledge and help people to reach their goals faster. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. A lot of times, you might be asked the question, what are the available editions of Windows Server? There are two editions of latest version of Windows Server that are available, Standard Edition and Data Center Edition. There are also two server forms, Server Core and Server Desktop Experience. For example, this is Windows Server Standard Edition with Desktop Experience. To find out what is the edition that we're using, we click on the Start button, type System, select System Information, and we can see that this is Microsoft Server 2019 Standard Edition. In contrast, Windows Server Core will only allow you to access the server through Command Prompt. Either using default commands for Windows Server, through Command Prompt, or using PowerShell. During Windows Server installation, user is presented with the screen similar to what you see on the left-hand side of the screen. You have multiple choices for each edition. For example, for Standard Edition, you can select Server Core, which is the first choice, or you can select Standard Desktop Experience. In a very similar way, you can make selections for Data Center Edition. Let me give you a couple reasons why you might consider subscribing to online training for everyone. State-of-the-art skills, tips, tricks, and techniques we share with you here on online training for everyone will help you today and in the future. We use scientifically proven methodology to create videos that will help you learn faster and retain more materials. When you click the subscribe button now, you will become connected and will be the first one to receive automatic notifications when new video is released. A lot of times, you might be asked the question during the interview, what is the latest version of Windows Server? You can always check the latest version of Windows Server by navigating into Settings. For example, if you click Start button, navigate to Settings, select System, select About, and scroll down to Windows Specifications, you can see the edition of your server and version that is currently installed on your server. The latest version of Windows Server at the moment of this video is Windows Server 2019. It has two editions, Standard Edition and Data Center Edition. Microsoft continues to improve the server versions though, and they continue add additional functionality. The latest release Microsoft is currently testing is 20H2, and if you would like to learn more, you can type in Google Windows 20H2 and a lot of information is available. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure that you get it in the future. A lot of times you might be asked the question, how do you patch Windows Server with latest security patches and updates? Also, you might be asked why this is important. Over the years, Microsoft almost automated the patching process and it happens semi-automatically. As an administrator, you can postpone and delay it a little bit. 
but you cannot stop it unless you use tricks and hacks in the registry. To check current status of updates and patches on Windows Server, you click the Start button, type Check for Updates, and select Windows Update Settings or Check for Updates, depending what you're trying to accomplish. As you can see, I have updates available, and in order for me to install them, I can click Install Now button, which triggers update installation. To optimize Windows Update installation based on organizational needs, you can change active hours, you can view update history, and you can view advanced options. In advanced options, you can customize updates delivery based on your needs. You can change update options, update notifications, and pause updates if this is what you're trying to accomplish. There are three main reasons why installing latest updates on Windows Server is important. Number one is that updates patch security holes and make your installation of Windows more secure. Hackers take advantage of Windows updates, and if you don't patch, they can access and compromise your system remotely through the network. In addition, installing latest updates improves user experience and fixes software bugs to improve compatibility. This is typically not as important as patching security holes, but it does provide some productivity improvements and access to latest features to enhance your Windows Server experience. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.